Welcome back, folks. Today, we are back with our Late to the Party series, and we're going to be looking at something slightly different for me, as this will be my first foyer into the PlayStation games. Today is the PlayStation exclusive Horizon Zero Dawn. Now, with the sequel Horizon Forbidden West due out later this month, what better time is there than now to jump back into the original game? I have not owned a PlayStation since the PlayStation 3 and have not played any of the PlayStation exclusives that came out on the PlayStation 4 or 5. With Horizon now available on PC, I thought why not jump in and see what all the hype is about. So let's waste no further time and get straight into the gameplay. What's that now? Don't like the cold? Can't stay in today. We have a ritual to perform, you and I. Here. Wear this. It belonged to my daughter. Good. Today, I speak your name, girl. But will the goddess speak it back? <laughs> Normally, it would be the mother who declares, if you had one. The whole village would attend, and matriarchs perform the ritual. But we are outcasts. Even so, we keep the tribe's rituals. Otherwise, we might become like the faithless old ones who turned their backs on the goddess. But their wickedness doomed them. To us, we're left the splendors of creation, beasts of air, Water, earth, and steel. It is one thing to hunt a beast, another to hunt a machine. You must be humble and respect their power. I will teach you this, one day. No, 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 off your knees. It's nearly time. And yes, you may speak to me. You came to bless the naming. Have not six months gone by since we entrusted her to you? But we are outcasts. You by choice. And she, well... I am a high matriarch, Rost. I bless whom I choose. Then you honor us. Yes, yes, now go and be ready to declare. Go!
Oh, mother, this child needs a name by which to know her. That your love may warm her life as the rising sun warms all the earth. Speak her name! Aloy! And so her name is blessed. Stop this at once! What have you done? I've blessed the naming of a child. Stubborn woman, you call that curse a child? What did she tell you about his birth outcast? Answer! I've done only what you asked. To raise it, yes. We said nothing of love. Enough! And you... Blessing its name like it was one I know my duty to them. Tribe. And to you. Without consultation. I'm here. And wherever you go, I will follow. Wow, straight off the bat you can see that this is definitely a good looking game. There's something about PlayStation exclusives that you just can't criticize. They are well known for producing some of the best single-player games. I'm running this game at 1080p uh, 60 frames, but even then it looks so good. I really can't wait to now get started. I'm probably just going to go with the story mode just so that we can get through this quickly um, and just basically try and absorb this story. That's a lot of berries. You're quite the gatherer, aren't you, little bast? Now go and see if you can find some more, hmm? Well done, that's a good boy. <laughs> Children. Come with me. She's an outcast to be shunned. There. She... Oh, come on. There. Hear me. Some kind of cave. So that's the first cutscene, uh, and obviously now I'm guessing we're going into what would be the tutorial part. Um, we're in the cave, and obviously from the trailers, I know I that Aloy is a lot older in the game. So I'm guessing we're this is where we're going to learn a lot this of stuff be before we age up, world. before the main game what starts. So we're just going to explore this cave, see where we can go. But yeah, this I, I've always wanted to play Horizon. I've heard so many good things about this game. Um, but obviously having the lack of a uh, of PlayStation over the years has meant that you know I haven't been able to really get into any kind of PlayStation games. Uh, I was always a PlayStation person 
back in the day when the original PlayStation came out. Uh, and I've ha owned every console up until the end of the PlayStation 3, uh, 360 era. Uh, and after that, I mainly have only ever had Xboxes. Um, so it has meant I've missed out on a lot of these, these games. Um, I'm also going to be looking to do the God of War, uh, the reboot version that got released recently onto PC. Um, and I'm enjoying that Sony now are finally releasing a lot of their games on, onto PC. Um, it definitely gives me a chance to uh, explore these, the, these games that I've not been able to play before. Definitely looks out of place in this in this like prehistoric world, but obviously knowing that we're gonna be fighting robot robot dinosaurs in a bit, um, it probably is trying to set up some kind of story. Like I I really don't have much idea of what the story even is with this game. Um, I've not really followed nice. PlayStation news or anything like that, so. Everywhere. I really have no idea what the general story is other than what I've seen in trailers. So I'm coming into this blind um, and have no idea where this story is going to go, which for a game that's now, what, three, four years old, you know, it's so great that I can now experience this for the first time and not have any spoilers. A metal door. So obviously this device is for scanning areas and this locked door looks like that might have something to do with it. Alright, so how do we get round there? Can I interact with it through the walls or have we actually got to be physically near it? Okay, it's got a marker so we'll try following that. If in doubt, always follow the marker. And oh, tag him so we can tag enemies so we don't lose them. Really don't need to know where the rat's going at this point. Okay, so that's the oh, options. That's left. Uh, we'll go left. Left usually unlocks. Lefty Lucy, so we'll go with that. And that doesn't seem to have done. One more. Yep. It's changed color. So has that done something with this device over here? Oops. Mm, doesn't seem like it does anything when you come out of the scan mode. So maybe back to the door. Right. Tracing the way back. The door changed color too. It did it. Okay, so that's something something through there, some kind of marker, but we just want to press on, follow our waypoint here. That's that. Okay. I think I want it this way. It's the best. No audio log. So it looks like we, with this device that we found, we can <laughs> pick up birthday, audio Isaac. devices from, sure I'm guessing, a, a past Daddy civilization, Mom, their memories. We can still have a party, right? Obviously, <laughs> sure even though everything looks <laughs> like prehistoric and old world, it's clearly Show set in again. a, a technologi te technological future. Hi. <laughs> Happy birthday. 
birthday, Isaac. Daddy sure does love his little big man. Look, Daddy can't be there with you and Mom, but we can still have a party, right? <laughs> sure we can. <laughs> Happy birthday, Isaac. Daddy sure does love his little okay, big man. So doesn't seem to be anything else we can do with our dead man there. Uh, nothing really else. Pick up on the scanner. Again, we'll just follow our way marker. Again, this is just obviously a tutorial level just to get you used to the basic controls of the game. I'm sure once we get out of here, things will be... We'll start opening up a lot more. Whatever happened down here, there seems to be a, little, a lot of dead people. I saw them lining up. Yeah, the more room. audio logs. Like cattle in a slaughterhouse, but smiling at each other. John handing out meds. Like being alive is some kind of pain. To be eased. Um, not me. I don't want to go quiet. I don't want to trail off. We'll just keep off going up, though. <laughs> An exclamation mark. So I'm guessing that if we stopped and actually explored, there might be a lot more for us to find. I don't know. Or to see. Because at the minute, it anymore. just seems literally like we've run through. A lot of this bit. And maybe that's all I need, you know. That moment. There doesn't that seem much else other than these audio logs scattered around. Guessing it's trying to build up the, the backstory of this world. On the face. He found me. Frost found me. Down here. I'm coming. I'm coming. Now, I know a lot of people who are watching this might not have actually played this game or just looking for some kind Come of refresher. Take my hand. You don't belong down so, you know, why not Come. leave us a comment below of how you found this game and how much you enjoyed it? Such places are forbidden, Aloy. I fell in. They are of the metal world. What is that on your face? Nothing. Did you find it down there? No. Give it to me. No. Aloy, such things are dangerous. No! Sneaking away from home, you'll need to know how to survive in the wild. Come, Aloy. Home now. But starting tomorrow, you will learn to hunt. muttering to that plaything. We descend to the valley now. Follow. The wilds can be dangerous, Aloy. You will need to stay close and do as I say. I know. Now. You're still scratched up from that fall you took yesterday. So let's start there. Take this medicine pouch. I'll show you how to fill it. 
see this plant over here. Okay, so after another lengthy old cutscene there, it looks like we're finally getting out to do some hunting, which again is just going to be a tutorial thing, I'd imagine, just to get us used to the basic controls of doing hunting. They can save your life. Always keep your pouch full of medicinal berries, flowers, and plants. Where are we? This valley is just a part of all mothers' embrace. Embrace. The Nora tribe watches these lands and keeps out the most dangerous machines, usually. Further down river, we'll find a herd of machines, and I will teach you how to hunt. Are they dangerous? All machines are dangerous, Aloy. Their power must be respected. But I will be beside you. Aloy, a machine's coming. Crouch and follow me into the tall grass. There. Now stay low. Little one. No, Aloy. Such machines are called watchers. You must learn to avoid their gaze. If you are to survive in the wilds, I will show you. Listen close and do as I do. Stay still. Wait for it to pass. Okay, so we've got what looks like a stealth element here. Gotta get past these creatures. Easy enough. Let it pass. Another one. Not sure what happens if you actually get Slowly seen by one of them. I guess they just will call in more reinforcements. Wait for it. Do always like having a stealth element in games. It's always fun sneaking up on an enemy and taking him unawares. Not sure if you'll be able to get like a, a stealth one hit kill Let's sort of thing on. on these machines. That seems to be that. So that's our basic training well. into stealth. They didn't see or hear Use you. the tall grass and keep out of sight. Now stay close. That herd should be just ahead. Who's that? Ignore him. But why is he up there? He's smiling at us. Deb! Get back where you belong! Deb! Where are you? Ignore him. We are outcasts and he is of the tribe. Maybe he doesn't like the tribe. Then he is a fool. Come now, let's find that herd. Follow. Okay, so we're continuing on now, following. Seems to be very little action in this first opening stage. Yeah. It is literally them? just a tutorial. Striders. Might as well pick up some more health. Never know when we're going to need that. Seems to be a herd of dinosaur. Well, there was. Why'd you chase them off? You just scared them off for us. <sighs> to show you how some machines startle easily if they detect you and run away. Uh, okay. Also, we learned stealth. a lesson. Right. Don't so worry. stealth is obviously key we'll to taking down these down dinosaurs the as You'll we see. go further on. And I'm calling them dinosaurs. They're obviously machines, but now, I want you to find some rocks. They've clearly the been designed to what? look like some kind Do of like say, Aloy, prehistoric the animals. Rocks. I will show you Just how to carry on them. picking up my resources as Those we're will going. Do. Follow. Never have too much. Well, theoretically you can because all these pouch things always have limits. Oh, 
Okay, where's he gone? Up here. Stop wasting time. All right, time to catch up. Aloy, over here. Okay, what are we doing? There's the herd. All right, it's time to throw some rocks. But rocks can't hurt machines, right? No, but they can distract them, draw them into traps. Like that watcher over there. It must be dealt with, or it will warn the herd and send them running before we get in range. Warn them? How? The machines speak to each other, Aloy, unless they are first silenced. Now you stay here on the ridge. On my signal, throw rocks and draw the watcher over to me. Wait for my signal. All right, so and we've got our rocks. No, we've got a set. So we got a target spot there, just in front of him. Hey, throw right there. Uh, try and get it dead on, and go. Yeah. Uh, so he like one hit killed that stealthily from the grass. And obviously I don't think as a child we're going to be able to do that. But maybe later on there. or it's going to be an unlockable girl, uh, thing that we can just one hit straight from the from the grass. Harvest a kill so okay. I can teach you how to make arrows. We can collect resources, so metal shards and some Good. wire. Now. Gather stocks of ridgewood from and the plants over gather there. Gather wood now, so we're making arrows. So crafting on the fly is obviously does make life easier. You're never gonna run out Use of a weapon or uh, well, in this case arrows. You can just craft them on the fly. Alright, so that's enough wood. Uh, yeah, literally just L B and A. Easy enough. Might Good. as well fill up our pouch so we've got enough resources. You know Ooh, more health. Let's put those arrows to use. Follow. Yep, and then we can catch back up. Oh, we're back in the still. There we go. What have we had? Here. Stay low on the grass and be quiet. It's time to make your first kill, Aloy. The Strider. One of the weaker machines. But even a weak machine Looks can like kill it's be a our hunter first bit of prey. if she's careless. You must study your prey. Its hide is thick, but there are spots where it is vulnerable. Like its eye. Can you guess another? So we're gonna scan the enemy. Okay. No, we got that yellow bit on his back. So, a canister. Oh, so that's handy. So it will identify where uh, a creature is weak, where we need to aim. What's going to do the most damage? How did you guess that? The device. It showed me. But that plaything. Stop playing games. So even now, if we're we can't get the stealth kill, at least Target that will help us try and get the charges, kill. Be ready to roll out of the way. All right, so come on, let let me take it. All right here we go. So aim for the canister and release again. Oh, one hit. Not sure why he shouted again. <laughs> And we can collect more resources. Again, same stuff. So well obviously, today, but you have it looks like a lot of the animals are just carrying Tomorrow, a lot of the same stuff. Again. What was that? That boy, the one running the brave trails. Follow Eloy, quick. Uh, it's an emergency, by the looks of things. We're off on the sprint. So far this has definitely been, you know, a solid start without being 
it's not a game that's just going to drop you straight into the action. It's clearly going to be building up. So, obviously, again, we're just learning more about strategies. And so, I can see. I guess it's path there. If I tag it, it will keep it on screen. So, that's where he's going to walk. And obviously, they've taken my weapon away so that we can't just go in and kill all these. Even the amount there is, I wouldn't particularly be recommending that anyway. So he's currently looking at me. I'm, get, cause I'm guessing that's the eye, or yeah. So once he goes past, we're gonna have to run across the next set of grass. So why am I running? I need to do this slowly and quietly. Stay crouched. Can't let them see me. So hold up. Where's the next? That'll be you. He doesn't seem to be worried. Uh, we should have probably gone a bit sooner then. I'm going to have to wait for him to come back down and then head back up. Yeah, it's, it's, you know, as good as the stealth element is for killing, these kind of slow paced waiting for enemies are not, not my favourite. Alright, so go now. It's probably one of those as well, if you get that spotted, you instantly fail and have to start again. It can just get repetitive and tedious having to keep do the same part. But at least it gives you their, their track sort of thing, so you're not exactly going to be... If you fail, you've probably got no excuse but for your own. I'm not 100% sure where that one's going. Just try and edge on the side of caution here. Can't tell if it's the other side of those bushes. We'll just wait for him to pass just in case. To see their paths. And then we'll head on over. Almost yeah, it does there. look like it was the other side of these bushes. So again, we'll wait for this one to turn around and start heading back. Because he'll go down there and then we can go. You know, it, it, these sections do slow down the pace of a game. But as long as they're used sporadically and we're not going to have to do this too often, shouldn't be a problem. And we've made it over to the lad. Seem to be going back the same way. Looking at the marker. Oh, we're nearly to the end of this bit, but I looks at things. Just gotta wait for this one. Again, looks like we could be in for a bit of a wait here as he circles back round. Yeah. 
not sure if we could have made that or no. Alright, come on. And uh, now he's gone. We can head through. How are you doing this? far over. Just gonna have to head back up. Maybe there. And done. Not my favourite part, but at least we got it done. Mother, bless that girl. Bless you both. She, Boy! She saved me. I, I just wanted... Boy! Seal your lips! They are outcasts, both. And she is motherless. Come now. Back to Mother's heart. should not have spoken to us. It's against tribal law. We'll go home now. Follow. I know the way. Mother. <laughs> okay, so we've got choices to make. So we can aim for his head, knock the other ro rock out of his hand, or drop the rock. So loving brains and just aggression. I wonder if any of these things affect. I think we're just going to go for the aggression. Bearing in mind what she'd be thinking at this point. I think you're definitely going to aim for the guy's head. Um, but let's see. Oh. <laughs> I think that kid definitely deserved a rock to the head. I do wonder though if, if you had picked what the other choice is, what it would look like, or if these have any effect going forward. You're bleeding. Let me have a look. Here, hold still. I'll get it. Why? Shh. Why am I an outcast? Aloy, this is not the time. Who was my mother? Aloy, I've told you before, that's not for us to know. You were just a newborn when the matriarchs brought you to me. So the matriarchs, they know? <sighs> it's not so simple. But they know. Aloy, we are outcasts. So how do I make them tell me? The matriarchs? There is a way, perhaps. So tell me. It will be dangerous. How? It would take years of training. I don't care. How do I do it? Tell me. The proving. The tribe's rite of passage held every year. Those who pass become braves. But to the one who wins, the matriarchs grant a boon. A boon? Yes, whatever the winner wants. Then I'll do it. <laughs> whatever it takes. I'll win the proving. I see. 
We'd best get started then. Your training will be hard. And it'll take years. Start training? Yes. Follow. Rost? 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 Where is he? Two days before the proving and he goes off without me? He wouldn't do that. Well, there we go, folks. That's about the first 45 minutes, like the opening tutorial scene. Um, it looks like now we, we've aged up. We're going to be getting out into the world for real. And this clearly is where our adventure is going to begin. Um, obviously, it's still too early to tell if this is going to be my type of game. Um, it's definitely a beautiful looking game. Uh, it looks even better than a lot of you know triple a's i've played before um and I, I you know i can't wait to get on and actually progress a bit further into this game um we will be releasing more videos um of the next few bits um as as i continue on my adventures um this is just obviously this the start of the series just to give you a glimpse of of where we're going so if you if you like the video don't forget to drop us a like um, hit that bell notification so that you know when we release the next lot of uh, videos for this series and, and whilst you're there why not sh uh, subscribe to the channel every subscription helps build up this channel um, and why, why not leave us a comment about any games you would like to, us to play in the uh, late to the party series or any xbox or any gaming news you would like us to cover well thanks for watching folks and I'll see you all in the next video.